Welcome to day 60 of our school year. So let's get down our beginning fraction. Okay, we have a total of 180 days. And we are on day 60. Let's go ahead and find the factors of our numerator. Two factors we always know are 1 and the number itself. Using the commutative property of multiplication, I can also write it as 60 times 1. Now we're going to go through our divisibility rules in an orderly fashion. That way we don't miss any possible factors. So after 1 we try 2. The rule for 2 is that it ends in an even number. 0 is even, so 2 is a factor. 2 times 30, 30 times 2. The rule for 3 is that we add the digits together. 6 plus 0 is 6. 6 is a multiple of 3. So 3 is a factor. 3 times 20, 20 times 3. We try 4. One thing to check for is to look with the second factor with 2. Is it even? Yes, it is. So 4 is a factor. 4 times 15, 15 times 4. Okay, next we try 5. The rule for 5 is that it ends in a 0, 5. It does end in a 0, so 5 is a factor. 5 times 12, 12 times 5. Next we try 6. The rule for 6 is that both 2 and 3 are factors. Both 2 and 3 are, so 6 is a factor. 6 times 10, 10 times 6. We only need to check the counting or natural numbers between 6 and 10, so that's 7, 8, 9. 7, we just list our factors. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56, 63, 70. 60 is not in that list, so 7 is not a factor. We try 8, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64. 60 is not in that list, so 8 is not a factor. And 9 has the same rule as 3. We add the digits together, we get 6. 6 is not a multiple of 9, so 9 is a, not a factor. Then we get to 10, and we are done. So let's list our factors from least to greatest. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. Well, let's see, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 factors. I think that's the most we've had so far. That is definitely more than two factors, so it is composite. Now we need to find our greatest common factor, so let's start with our greatest factor of 60. If that doesn't work, we'll go down until we find one that does. But we always start with our greatest one. So it's nice. So we finish that row, we have six tens. Make sure you keep your shaded separated from your unshaded. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. And yes, sixty worked. Yay! So sixty is our greatest common factor. Okay, let's see how many groups of sixty we have. 1, 2, 3. 3 groups of 60. How many groups of 60 are shaded in? 1. Okay, now that we did our division with our model, let's go ahead and do a division with our algorithm. Divide by our greatest common factor. Eighty divided by sixty and sixty divided by sixty. Um, let's see. I don't know my sixties necessarily. So one times sixty is sixty. So take out the groups you can. It's repeated subtraction. We just want to try to take out the largest groups we can. Numbers the same. Zero is the same. More on top. No need to stop. More on top. No need to stop. 
1 times 60 is 60. Numbers the same, 0 is the game. 12, take away 6 is 6. And 1 times 60 is 60. Numbers the same, 0 is the game. Add those partial quotients together, 1, 2, 3. And over here, 1 times 60 is 60. Numbers the same, 0 is the game. Okay, now we need to check divisor times quotient plus remainder, divisor times quotient plus remainder. Since our remainder for both is 0, and the identity property of addition says when you add 0, it stays the same, I don't need to actually add 0. So let's go ahead and multiply 3 groups of 0. 3 groups of 6 tenths is 18 tenths. And here we have the identity property of multiplication, which says when you multiply by 1, it stays the same. Let's go ahead and check. 60, that matches our dividend up here. Here, 180, that matches our dividend right there. Check. So our numerator is definitely 1, and our denominator is definitely 3. All right, let's go ahead and fill in our data collection page. Okay, trimester 1, week 13. This is the very last day of our trimester. Today is 11, 1, 19. And our fraction for today is 1 third. And that's perfect because trimester, tri means 3. So we've completed one out of three sections of the year. So it's perfect that it's one-third on the last day of our trimester. We made groups of 60. So we have three equal groups of 60 days. So we've got to find that first line. And that is one-third. We will have an equivalent fraction in 30. 30 is a uh, common factor in 20 in 15, in 12, in 10, in 5, I'm sorry, in 6, in 5, in 4, in 3, and in 2. This one has lots and lots of equivalent fractions because um, there are lots of common factors in 60 and 180. But 60 was our greatest common factor. One third is today. We have two thirds of the school year left. Go ahead and put your number line away, erase your worksheet, and thank you for joining me.